Obviously, 30 years I've had a bunch of technicals. I've never had one for yelling at a player for not making a rotation. I mean, and, it, and, 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 and I was frustrated. I mean, when I got a four year guy who doesn't make a rotation, as much as hard as we work and, and as good as we've been defensively, which he was part of, and not making a rotation. So I'm yelling at him, and this guy tees me. Across the court. From across the court. I'm, and I'm yelling at Chuck. And it, he wasn't even, he couldn't even thought I was yelling at him. He was not even in my field of vision. I'm yelling at truck. I'm not making a rotation. Well, uh, things that went on today, what do you, what do you think hurt you the most? How about the L toughness? I mean, we, we blocked three shots in the first half. They pick it up and get three point plays out of it. Uh, we, just, we, we, we just don't get to the ball. We just, um, balls bouncing on the floor. I mean, we, we, I think it's four balls going out of bounds. They save it back in bounds. We got a guy here, a guy here, and they got a guy behind our two guys, and he runs in, catches it, and shoots a lap, and our two guys still have yet to move. We just didn't get the ball. And, and, and this game is all about every game. I mean, there's not an athletic game you play that you don't have to get to the ball. We don't get to the ball. We don't make rotations. We, you know, we got it to four, we get back screen, we don't help on the back screen. I mean, we shouldn't get back screen, but we do. You haven't had any consistency no. all season. No, no, no. we'll get, you know, we get on a run, we get on a run and we're passing the ball and we're playing pretty good and some guy will decide he's going to show everybody he can't dribble. You know, or, 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 you know, we'll do a pretty good job of rebounding and all of a sudden we'll stand and the ball will bounce and they'll grab it and put it in and we're just standing there. But it's been all year. It's been all year. And I just said on the radio, you know, the truth is everybody wants to talk about how hard Missoula played, which he did at the end. Well, he's a sophomore. He didn't, he didn't play with any consistency in, in, terms of, in terms of being tough and being hard. Nor did they need none of those other guys when they're sophomores. You know, they got better. It's just, you know, and you know it's coming, but you try to explain to those guys. We get tired, man. Tell me. I'll put you out, you come right back in. When you're ready to come back in, come back in. I mean, KJ does a heck of a job, and, and the guy kind of pushes him under the rim, kind of dives into him, and shoots it, the ball comes short, and now KJ can't get it. He's underneath the rim. Nobody, nobody even tries to make a play on it. He's standing. You know, it, we just, uh, we don't make rotations. We don't help. We don't make rotations. I told them I've never had a team give up this many laps. I, and I've never had a team give up this many laps in that, in, in that crucial situation. And, and, and you think about it now, and, and, and a lot of it is we throw the ball to them. When they, when they made their run, we threw the ball to them. We threw the ball to them, get out of transition. And then the flip side of it is when we got out in transition, we're running over people. Of course, they did too, you know, a couple times. but. can't run over somebody when you're down by four. And you can't take it in and lose it. You know, say I got fouled. Shouldn't have been in there to start with. It seems like you guys had some success pounding in to, to Dennis and Kevin in the low post and got away from it a little bit at the end you of the think, game. You think Dennis was six for 13 and shot two footers. That's coming off a two for 10. Yeah, we want to throw it in there, but, but you know, at the same time, he's got to finish. You know, we, we went in before the Syracuse game, and I, and I said to them, and I read off everybody's field goal percentage, and KJ shooting, what, 52, 53, Dennis is shooting 52, uh, Kevin Noreen was shooting over 50, Dominic Rhodes was shooting over 50. The rest of you guys are shooting, you know, 40 or below. Maybe we ought to pass them the ball. And we, and we, and we have, you know. But at the same time, we might as well shoot it out there if they're, if they're not going to finish. You know, it's a, we got shots. It wasn't like we didn't get shots. But but at bad times we took we took ill advised shots. You take long shots whenever no one's expecting it, it hits the rim and that leads to transition baskets and that happened a couple times. Coach, you mentioned 
Kevin Norrie, you didn't see him come back to the bench after he went to block. He broke his ankle. Broke it. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about what Trayvon Woodall was able to do off the dribble tonight in the destroy first us. half? Absolutely destroyed us. Who do you look to uh, replace Noreen? Take his role in minutes. I don't know. You got any ideas? <laughs> I keep looking down that bench, can't find anybody. I mean, I'm open to suggestions. Well, it's got to be Dominic Relish, but you know, Dom doesn't know what he's doing, and it's not all his fault because we have, you know, we haven't been able to give him reps. I mean, I think it's everybody knows he put himself in a hole to start with, and, and then Pat gets, goes down, and, and, and really Kevin was getting the majority of the minutes, but we've got to try to get him up to speed. Anything else? Hey, Bob, Kevin was um, Kevin was in there, and he, and he said that he's thinking a little bit now. Does he have to do more? Does he have to do less to get more people involved? Um, he's fine. <laughs> I mean, he took a couple. He took he took a couple quick threes that he shouldn't have taken. You know, but you know, how, how do you? How, what am I supposed to say to him with all everything that he's done? You know, it's not like he doesn't. I mean, you, you know, he's 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 trying to win. I mean, I, I I have no doubt he's trying to win. I mean, I think the biggest mistake that he can make is 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 try to do more. They're probably as tired of me as I am of them. So two days off be pretty good. Yeah, we're taking two off. But we're, but we're fine on taking two off regardless. Bob, did they beat you to the loose balls out there, or was there an element of maybe some luck involved? And I, I know you make your own luck, but Bob, we don't, we don't, uh, we don't converge on the ball. You, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Yeah, I'm sure they got some bounces, you know. I think, I think, you know, you always get some bounces, but we had, I, I mean, I thought we did. I thought our center had the ball to start the second half, and they just snatched it right out of his hand and scored a layup. I mean, that's, I thought that's what happened. Maybe it didn't, but they beat us to the ball. <laughs> they just, we stand around and watch too much. Else? Coach, how important is uh, two days off the rest that you guys now have, especially with the it's, young it's, team? It's real important for me <laughs> because I, I, I'm kind of like up to here, so it's 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 really important for me. Thanks, Coach. Uh -huh.